I was just thinking, what a nice day for questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Who? What? Dear God, you've been lied to. She could have killed her lover and lied to everyone. She's not candid at all. She smoke and mirrors and willow wisps. She probably didn't give you her real name either. Why would she? Arrest her immediately before she further entangles you in her web of lies. Take it easy. Don't overcompensate with this course correction. Ask questions first. Yes, start at the top. Choose at the bottom. It's how we've always done it. No rush. See? There may be grounds here, at least for an extended detention. A little whimper. The young woman hears you. She's looking around. I did. What is this? I called your desk or whatever it is. The numbers are all over town. Call 8102 for emergencies. There was an older woman on the other end. It sounded like she was smoking. She took my complaint. She coughed. That is the emergencies desk number. Anyone could know that, sire, by looking around and calling the desk. I don't believe a single word she says. What time did you make the call? Thursday night. It was late, sometime after 12. It checks out. She stands before you, holding her back very straight. I agree. You wouldn't give us your real name, not when people are after you. Okay. Tighten it. You've got her. Okay, it's not. You log your work every week. It's all transmitted to Common, sir. I couldn't just beg you not to enter my name. So I lied. Like I lied before. Like I did at LCSB. I have to lie all the time. I'm so tired of it. She's not lying now. She really is very tired. Her metabolism is failing her. The afterglow of whatever narcotics she's been taking is wearing off. No. It's submerged in a plastic boy on the coast, in the reeds. It just doesn't say Clausia Amandu. It says Anuk Mea Smith. Falsified documents? Passport and visa. Given to me by my employer. I can't even use them. My employer probably leaked the name. May, uh, Smith, to hurt me. Why would they do that? I didn't show up to a rendezvous. They don't take that lightly. I didn't show up because I was afraid they'd do something to me. The job was finished. I'm just a liability now. West of the boardwalk, in the reeds, on the coast there. I put it there when I first arrived. Haven't been there since. I'm not sure I could even find it now. It's useless. The lieutenant makes a note of it. You're welcome to it. It's in the reeds northwest of here, past the Bergen sewage pipe, right near the water line. It's Katarzyna Lazie. It's a grad name. Jimsk or Yugo Grad in origin, not Occidental at all. Smells of motor oil, tiger, economic desolation, and rock music infused alcoholism. My parents were Jimsk immigrants, but I'm nationalized Oranese. All I remember is Oranie. Alasie is my father's name. Of course, she doesn't look like an Oranese woman at all. She's. I've always had that going for me. Oranese women do not win beauty pageants at 14.
That's cool. I am. They can never take my sash and my scepter from me. Yes, they can. For lying. She nods, her back straight, ready for whatever is next. Ready for the damage. She knows you're grilling her. Plasia. It was my first real boyfriend who gave me that name. He never recovered from the shit we went through. Because of me. He was a writer. He made Oremis lit. And I destroyed him. I know I'm shit. I know. But I haven't done anything. At least nothing illegal. She purposefully misrepresented information crucial to the case. Fucking mind games. Enough. That's right, gang. Stern and merciless now. Stern and merciless as we reel her in. The lieutenant produces a pair of handcuffs. Please, no. But there's nowhere to go. A two-story drop to the Plaza Mosaic. If she could, she would have run before. Fragile, unshielded. Her voice is thin and tired. I think I know who did it. Who shot Lely. I can tell you. I can help you. She's silent for a second as if looking into herself for certainty. Then, in a hushed voice, she says, Ruby. She has this thing for me ever since I met her and the boys downstairs. She's been pretty frank about what she wants. What she's saying is, sex. And more. I made the mistake of confiding in her. I told her I was on the run. She started protecting me. It became an unhealthy relationship. When I started spending time with Lely, she told me to end it. I said there would be shit if I didn't. It was not a good meeting. We stopped talking after that, but... I don't understand. What exactly in your relationship made you think she is romantically interested in you? She said she's in love with me. She even asked me to run away with her when I told her I'm a fugitive. She started developing notions about our relationship. And you led her on? A little. I was flattered, you know? But then I had to let her off, and it was not easy. I came to regret being friendly with her. We may be kissed, nothing more. I know what this sounds like. That's why I didn't want to tell you before. But she knew what had happened when I came downstairs. Somehow, she knew Lely was dead. She wasn't surprised at all. When we came up here, she was calm as a stone, too. She cleaned it all up like she had a plan. Could it be that Ruby was cleaning up after herself? That the lynching was a cover-up for her? And she organized the boys to do it. It's ominous. You bind into her theory and running with it. Be careful with this logic guy. She came over one night, drunk. Said she'd turn my life into a living hell. I've been threatened before. So I can tell when someone knows how to do it. And she's a pro. She must be. To keep the hardies in line... I tried severing ties with her after that. I thought it had worked, but... Some of that fear is still with her. She exhales sharply. What are you talking about? She's afraid you'll arrest her. You said there was a secret route there, right? She could have come up through there, then taken the shot right here, where I stand. It was too dark outside. 
I wouldn't have seen her. Then slipped back downstairs without anyone noticing. That is possible. Interesting theory. Did she know that door exists? Had you been out there with her? Yes. She's been up here many times. She used to come to drink on the roof when... Uh... The peephole. She would have seen us. My bed is right next to... You mean to suggest she made it? No. No. Why would she do that to herself? No, I, I just remembered you told me about it, and... She's not really sure. It was right above the bed. She could have seen all sorts of things from there. Don't let your imagination run wild here, sire. Keep it on track. Okay, and what? Arrest the liar, now. Why? She told us some pretty interesting things there. She's stuck here. She's already in prison. Look around. She's only trying to help you. Her. Stop letting her distract you. Still? After all this, sir, please. It's a shitty world, and I know I'm shitty too. I know... But I don't deserve to be sent to the moral intern and ground into paste just because I disturb the sanctity of accounting. That's some multinational... She's gearing up for a last stand. This is it. I don't know. To spend my days with smoke, and drink and dance, wallowing in shit. Just like everyone else. She looks at you in silence, her face filled with fear, lips parted. Wait, if you arrest her, Kim will have to transport her. You'd be without your partner for the rest of the day. Shut up, he's making a decision and it's his to make. I will escort you to the motor carriage outside, miss. With a muffled whimper, she extends her wrists. They're white, bony, exposed below the rolled up sleeves of her jumpsuit. Waiting for your teeth and talons to cut into. This won't be necessary. I will take you to station 57 myself and slow the extradition process as much as I can. It may be possible to stall it indefinitely, but you will be safer there for the purposes of this investigation. I can do this on my own. She's not an immediate flight risk. See you tomorrow morning, officer, downstairs at the Whirling in Rags, or outside your shack. <laughs>